her. I want to take care of you today. And before I turn you off and close you down for the night. Now I think the first thing to do is that to clean off the keys a little tiny bit. I'm going to use this alcohol swab. I think this one went through the laundry because it's actually completely dry. Now I have to use something else then. Here it is. There's two little bits. Tear it in half. The first one I'm going to use on the mouse pad. Oh, I hear your fan is working. Good. Okay. Now. I'm going to use the other half on the keys, and I hope this just like go over every key. Make sure it's very clean. And let's see if this picked up any dust. Yes, it did. I don't know if you can see that very well. Actually, it is dirty. As loud as near the microphone. Yeah. Now that that's done, I wanted to wipe down your screen as well because it's getting very dusty. So for that. I don't know where anything is. I'm going to use your special cloth. This cloth came with you. I think it's your see? There we go. It's a little dusty. I'm going to use it to clean your screen. Good. Look at all that dust. Folding this up the way it came. Just like that. I know it won't stay like that. That's worth a try. I'm in my pajamas right now because it's time for bed. Okay, now this is good to look. I am going to check my email. Hmm. Oh, there's some emails here. I need to reply to this one. You're working hard to do this.
any other emails I need to reply to. Nope. Okay, bye. Now I'm gonna look at my Facebook. See if there's anything new. Nope. No one was talking to me on Facebook chat. Okay, bye Facebook. iTunes wants me to download a new version. It seems like there's a new, um, there's new software for my iPod and for iTunes almost every day. <laughs> well, I think it's the same one that I keep getting. But I'm not going to do that right now. Oh, here's something that I can do. I was editing my bio, so I'm just going to and close it. I've typed so far. Hi, computer. I'm typing a secret letter that you'll only hear, not see. Well, I will read it aloud to you soon. I just thought you might like the typing sounds of this smooth keyboard. strange, but when I was young, I was very little, the only TV that I watched, um, so I watched, this is, I think these are all Canadian shows, I would watch Fred Penner, and then directly after that was a TV show called Under the Umbrella Tree, and then right after that was a TV show called Mr. Dressup, and Mr. Dressup was my favorite, um, and actually, Mr. Dressup was the first time I experienced ASMR because he always did, um, he did drawings and I always loved watching him draw. And then he would do a craft and that was just amazing. I just was in love, in love with crafts and watching people do crafts and that was just ultimate ASMR for me. Um, until I even, I never had Art Attack, if you know that show. I watched it at a friend's house. I was in love with watching. It was like overload. So many crafts that I could do. Anyhow, I watched Mr. Jessup when I was very little. But the story I'm thinking of that brought me to telling this was in the TV show Under the Umbrella Tree. I only remember one episode, and that's where they find a typewriter. And I think there was a blue jay. The blue jay found this typewriter. And so all the little care, the little puppets, they're, they were all typing things on the keyboard, and they'd be like, H, E, L, L, O, space, <laughs> my, name, A, M, E, etc., etc., etc. And then the, the girl, and I don't even remember what that pup, girl puppet, what animal she was or what she looked like, but she went onto the keyboard and just started going. 
typing so fast and they were like, oh wow, you are so good at typing. This is before everyone used computers and typing on a typewriter took skill because there's no backspace. <laughs> well, there was, but it was complicated. And they looked at what she had written and it was like, it was all just random because she was actually just mashing the keys. And I think that stands out in my memory because I thought it was so hilarious that she would do that. We had a typewriter. My parents did. I used it a bit, but then the ink strips went dry and they never got new ones because we got a computer. It's so funny to think. We had a, my dad had bought a computer, this was before I was born, or it might have just been right after I was born. He said it cost $2,000, and it was this big box, and I, I remember it because we had it for a long time. The screen was dark green, and then anything that showed up on the screen was light green. Um, I never used it because I was too young, but I remember my brothers played <laughs> and this other game with characters. It might have been Space Invaders. So, that's cool. I think I was about six or seven when we got our first sort of normal computer that had color. I had some fun games on it. Um, but it wasn't until I was in, I think I was in grade eight when we finally got the internet. And it was slow. Oh, I just typed slow when I said that. I wonder if I've typed any other words randomly. Probably not. Oh, I just wrote with a spa. Dying. Spoken. Closed everything now. Including iTunes. Oh, it's bothering me. So I'm going to. I'm going to go now. Have a good